LibreOffice is not opening after installing. Installing, I can't open any files with it. Uh, help me, uh, help me with this issue. Uh, and uh, so there's, I don't see a person. Well, I see a person's name, but it's just a uh, email address. Thank you for submitting. Think I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name here because I'm not sure which part of it this is your name. So, uh, but uh, thank you for submitting it. LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is like an open office version of Microsoft Office 360. Well, okay, it's not Microsoft Office 365, but people who can't afford Microsoft Office download LibreOffice. There's another one also called Open Office. So people use LibreOffice as in a free version of Office Suite. Let's just call it that. So basically people who can't afford Microsoft Office download free open uh, open version like a uh, it's free software that should work as just like uh, Microsoft Office. So people download this and install it. Now his issue here is it's not opening after installing i can't open any files with it help me with this issue now what do you mean you are not open are you not able to open new documents that would be my question to you right are you not able to create new documents are you not able to open up any of the applications within LibreOffice? and uh if if the application is not working period meaning you can't open it at all right you can't open it at all then it's an issue with the installation itself then you have to uninstall it reinstall it and then see if that works now if you keep reinstalling it and it's still not working make sure that there is no issue with your antivirus that's installed sometimes antivirus will block uh, so the only antivirus i have is windows defender installed but if you have antivirus installed it can sometimes delete certain files thinking it's it's like a suspicious file so make sure that your antivirus whatever it is look at the history look at what it's doing uh, make sure it's not deleting any files that are required for open office or any application or libre office i keep saying open office is because that's the one i i use sometimes uh, but make sure that libre office is not losing any files that are accidentally deleted by the antivirus okay now if your issue is i can't open many files as in you know they're different format then that's a different issue if you have files that are saved as uh as a file format that's not compatible with LibreOffice, then that's your issue right there like if it's a, like a xls file or you know dot doc file see if these file extensions are compatible with libre office right so for example if i just look at a properties of just a word document here just to give you people who are new to what i'm talking about you can see how this text document has dot txt extension well is libre office for example able to open up dot txt extension you know but since this is an office type of suite, it'd be most likely like XLS or .doc or PTP, which is PowerPoint, I think, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure that that's compatible. Aside from that, um, I really can't think of any other reason why it wouldn't work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So those are the things I would check. And as you know, as a help desk, you would, of course, take control of their computer and see if this is the issue you know if you're watching my videos for the first time you can use remote desktop to take control of their computer um, and i i use a program called dameware at my work which is this you know i type in ip address of their computer or host name which is their computer name or i can send them a link that they can use to allow me to take control of their computer Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, what did I say? So, Libre, you know, again, I hope you watch my video, uh, but I'm going to say, please reinstall uh, 
please reinstall LibreOffice, but make sure that antivirus software is not deleting some files used by LibreOffice. Okay, that was uh, step one. Uh, that's in case you can't, if, if it doesn't work at all. Um, it, if you can't open files, make sure that they are com compatible format. Yeah, I don't know how else to word it here. I'm kind of, uh, I've, I've explained it, but if you can't open files, make sure they are compatible format. I, I think that's fine. 